welcome to the youtube channel logic medico today's interesting topic is digastric muscle this digastric muscle is one of the muscle of the neck okay welcome to logic medico if you are new to my channel consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell button for the latest notification of the videos digastric muscle so why it's called digastric see here there are two valleys connected by intermediate tendon more clearly you can see in this diagram see this is the belly it's called posterior belly and this is the belly called anterior belly so why it's calling posterior and anterior so when compared to this belly this is behind okay so it's called posterior belly see that's why I written here P, P for posterior when compared to this this is in front so it's called anterior belly both of them are connected to one another by a tendon it's called intermediate tendon okay the location of this muscle is in the uppermost portion of the neck it's got two bellies anterior belly and the posterior belly posterior belly is coming from this mastoid area and anterior belly is coming from this chin area so you can see the anterior belly more clearly here this is the anterior belly so that is the location of this digastric muscle so why it is called so because it has got two bellies what are they the posterior belly of digastric and the anterior belly of digastric going towards the chin so it is one among the suprahyoid muscles it belongs to suprahyoid group of muscles what are the suprahyoid supra means superior short form of superior is supra this muscle is above the hyoid bone therefore it is called suprahyoid muscle the other muscles in the list is other than digastric they are stylohyoid from styloid to hyoid mylohyoid from mylohyoid line to the hyoid this one mylohyoid geniohyoid from the genial tubercle to hyoid geniohyoid hyoglossus from the lateral portion of hyoid to the tongue hyoglossus all these are suprahyoid group of muscles so digastric is a introduction it is a suprahyoid group of muscle coming to the origin insertion now supply and action out of which the muscle is explained under the those following headings i will start the first heading origin of the posterior belly is coming from a notch called as mastoid notch so what is this notch okay. if you draw like this from there this muscle will come here it's called this is called mastoid process okay the inner surface of this will have a notch it's called mastoid notch okay for that this portion is called the mastoid notch and from there it arises i'll show the next diagram the anterior belly takes origin from the inner surface of the inner surface of this chin or the mandible area this area has got a depression that i will write diagram here and show you this is a side profile of the mandible okay this is the mylohyoid line and here there will be a depression this depression is caused by this muscle digastric muscle so therefore we call it as digastric fossa that is also the origin so there was two origin what are they the inner surface of the mastoid process it's called digastric notch or the mastoid notch that is a posterior belly takes origin from there anterior belly takes origin from the inner surface of the chin there will be on depression it is called digastric fossa so the posterior belly fibers run downwards and forwards the anterior belly fibers run backwards and downwards to meet at a tendon called intermediate tendon that is the insertion where is the intermediate tendon anchored it is anchored to the hyoid bone how is it anchored by the stylohyoid muscle the stylohyoid muscle will split here to hold this intermediate tendon but this intermediate tendon is anchored to the hyoid bone therefore it is considered as insertion to digastric muscle coming to the action of this digastric muscle is very simple and very interesting okay here is a digastric muscle okay you only think what can happen so acting from here acting from here from the level of hyoid bone it can pull this down that is called as depression of the mandible okay we think it's acting acting from mandibular level so what it will do it will pull this hyoid bone upwards that's called elevation of hyoid bone so i repeat acting from below it can cause depression of mandible in the act of opening the mouth 
acting from above acting from the mandibular level it can elevate the hyoid bone in an act of deglutition that is the action last but not the least nerve supply in this since it has got two bellies posterior belly and anterior belly the nerve supply will be a little bit lengthier the posterior belly is supplied by this nerve supplying the motor nerve of the face what is this nerve it will divide into five branches i have just shown one branch for convenience this is face okay so this will be called a facial nerve so the posterior belly is supplied by a branch of facial nerve if you remember this you are a genius the posterior belly of digastric is supplied by a branch of facial nerve from the trunk of the facial nerve before it divides into five branches whereas the anterior belly is resting on this muscle can you see this muscle mylohyoid so imagine one of your teacher comes to your home will give them coffee right like that nerve to mylohyoid which is supplying mylohyoid will give a branch to this what is this anterior belly of digastric so here is a logic nerve to mylohyoid is a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve okay so this trigeminal nerve is supplying this anterior belly of digastric indirectly okay whereas the facial nerve is supplying the posterior belly of digastric for a kind information wherever this trigeminal nerve is there facial nerve will come trigeminal nerve is a sensory nerve of the face facial nerve is a motor nerve of the face same thing applies to the digastric the posterior belly of the digastric is supplied by facial nerve oh you supply the posterior belly huh? okay i am trigeminal now i will give mandibular nerve mandibular nerve gives this nerve to mylohyoid nerve to mylohyoid gives branch to anterior belly of digastric so posterior belly of digastric is supplied by facial nerve seventh cranial nerve anterior belly of digastric is supplied by fifth cranial nerve that is trigeminal nerve through a branch called mandibular nerve that will give one more branch called as nerve to mylohyoid and that will give a branch to anterior belly of digastric so that's why this is the most commonly asked question in the exam because there is much to write about this muscle such type of muscle which has got dual nerve supply is called as hybrid muscle or composite muscle you must have heard of hybrid car a car which runs on on petrol and uh, electricity like that this muscle embryologically is derived from two different arches the anterior belly is derived from mandibular arch the nerve to the mandibular arch is trigeminal nerve or the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve and the posterior belly of digastric is derived from hyoid arch or the second branchial arch but now to the second branchial arch is facial nerve therefore this muscle is a hybrid muscle it has got dual nerve supply the trigeminal nerve supplying the anterior division there is a mandibular division of trigeminal nerve supplying the anterior belly sorry anterior belly is supplied indirectly by trigeminal nerve only right so mandibular division the posterior belly of the digastric is supplied by facial nerve such muscles are called hybrid muscles or composite muscle embryologically they are derived from two different branchial arches or two different myotomes or two different brick of muscles okay in summary the digastric muscle it is a suprahyoid muscle location just beneath the chin in the uppermost portion of the neck it has got two bellies therefore it's called digastric what are the two bellies the posterior belly and the anterior belly why it's called posterior it's behind that's why why it's called anterior it's in front that's why they are connected by intermediate tendon what is the origin the inner surface of the mastoid it's called the ma mastoid process it's called the mastoid notch is the origin for the posterior belly the inner surface of the chin is called digastric so that is the origin for anterior belly both these bellies are connected by intermediate tendon which is anchored to the hyoid bone it is kept in a place by stylohyoid muscle acting from below it can depress the mandible acting from above it can elevate the hyoid bone that is an action nerve supply posterior belly is supplied by this nerve i told you in detail what is this nerve if you told facial then you told the correct answer whereas the anterior belly this anterior belly is supplied by nerve to mylohyoid nerve to mylohyoid okay this is a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve action acting from above it will pull this iod up elevation acting from here it will pull the mandible down that is depression of the mandible okay acting from above it will elevate the hyoid bone elevation of hyoid bone 
acting from this point it will pull the mandible down that is depression of mandible like and share this video with your family and friends kindly press the thumbs up button consider subscribing to my channel press the bell button to get the latest notification of video thank you for watching this video in logic medical